You're tuned in to the Restaurant Rockstars Podcast. Powerful ideas to rock your restaurant. Here's your host, Roger Bodwin. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Restaurant Rockstars Podcast, engaging topics that help restaurants rock their profits, build their brands, and deliver amazing guest service experiences. Anyone who listens to this podcast or follows me in general knows that I'm really all about systems in restaurants and efficiencies and helping those restaurants deliver better guest service experiences to help you build your brand. So today I'm super excited to speak with Mr. Kyle Thacker. He's with a company called Uncorked. And Uncorked is the leader in digital wine and beverage menus. And we're going to get into that and it's going to be really exciting and you're gonna learn just why you should take this program on in your own operation. Um, But before we do, I wanna tell you a little bit about a company called Upserve. They're sponsoring today's podcast. And again, about systems and efficiencies. Now, Upserve is the industry's largest cloud-based restaurant management system. Every time you accept a credit card in your restaurant, you swipe it through your POS system. Well, very few people realize that those swipes have critical data that you can um, find out more about your customers, what their spending habits are, whether they're first time or repeat visitors, you know, a real amazing marketing tool to help you build loyalty. Um, It also gives you data on what your popular menu dishes are, as well as server sales performance, and even ROI of special promotions you run. So I suggest you check that out. You can get a free demo by visiting upserve.com slash restaurant rockstars. Now on to today's podcast with Kyle Thacker from Uncorked. So Kyle, I understand that this company was founded in 2010. And again, you are the leader in digital wine and beverage menus. Now a lot, of, a lot of managers or owners of restaurants you know, if they don't already have this product, I'm sure they've seen it in other restaurants when they've dined out. I know I have. I've always thought it was amazing technology. So before we get into that technology, Kyle, why don't you tell me about what your position is at Uncorked, how you got into the hospitality business, and then we'll get into this, the platform itself. Great. Well, first, thanks, Roger, for having me on. Um, so I'm the director of marketing at Uncorked. Uh, came from a restaurant background, sort of around it my whole entire life. My mom was a waitress when I was growing up, so instead of you know having a babysitter, I'd go to the restaurant with her and roll silverware. Um, ended up landing in Chicago right around the same time that the Chicago food and cocktail scene really took off. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was just an exciting place to be around. Uh, a lot of creative people and and sort of loved the guest facing element of it and just being able to, you know, I worked in bars for the most part and managed bars. So, you know, just working with cocktail programs and, and just seeing the excitement of what was going on kind of uh, is what kept me in, engaged with it. Uh, and, you know, was worked in different restaurants for about six years now, um, mostly behind the bar, managed a few. And that's really kind of how I got my start there and, and saw how to, you know, run a restaurant and everything that goes into it. All the thousands of details, all the balls in the air. So you got a really good background for this. So how did you get into Uncorked? Um, well, in addition to working uh, in restaurants, I also wrote. Uh, I did freelance for a publication here called Chicago. It's and covered the food and dining scene in uh, in Chicago. Yes. And wanted to kind of translate that into you know a full time career and, and work in an auxiliary market to restaurants. And I thought you know, a company like Uncork that was doing a lot of really cool things was a way to stay engaged with everything that was going on uh, in, in restaurants. And along with like the food and culinary boom, there was a tech boom in restaurants. And it was it's just an exciting place to be. A lot of things are happening. A lot of changes are going on. So it, it's a, a good spot to be in. It's definitely a dynamic and challenging business. I've got a passion for it. I've been in the restaurant business for a long, long time myself um, as an owner and operator and now as a consultant and podcast host. So that's a really cool background and I'm sure it's Mm -hmm. great. So what are your main responsibilities uh, with Uncorked? Um, so with Uncorked, our, our marketing is really focused on content marketing and helping uh, restaurants grow, whether they're our customers or not. So we provide a lot of useful, relevant content to help them grow their beverage programs. Uh, our focus is on wine. Um, we also deal a lot with cocktails and, and beer. So we really try to be an educational place uh, for restaurants to come. I run our blog and we do a lot of content from ebooks to videos, um, mm-hmm. you know, appearing on these podcasts and kind of helping spread the word of, of what restaurants can do, um, how they can modernize and, and how they can kind of push forward and, and really capitalize on a lot of trends and interests in restaurants now. 
Now, Uncorked is doing a great service for the industry because you're really taking the intimidation out of wine and mm-hmm. beverage programs. You're making it more accessible to the customer. One, well, let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, that's really where our founder Josh Saunders kind of his idea for starting it was to help educate customers. Uh, a lot of people who are novi- novices or weren't too knowledgeable about wine, and sometimes you can go to a restaurant, you get a big leather bound book dropped on your table, and you don't really yes. know where to start, and yes. you know it's intimidating and. It, uh, the program was basically started to help educate people, make people feel more comfortable, more confident when they were ordering wine. So mm-hmm. it's really at its heart, it's an education platform. Um, so our menus, just to give people a little bit of background, they provide tasting notes uh, on all the wines that are on a list, uh, as well as beers or spirits, um, give you producer information so you can kind of orient yourself and uh, you know with the menu and really get to know it. And it's a great way for restaurants to sort of you know communicate and explain their passion uh, in a really easy to understand way to their customers. You know, you you touched on something, the educational portion of this platform, and it suddenly struck me, you know, for years and years and years I ran restaurants and I had servers that were not wine drinkers necessarily. They weren't knowledgeable about wines, mm-hmm. they were intimidated by wines, and it was always about training them in the basics of the different varietals, and it seems like this is a really engaging platform just to help train the staff as well, right? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of benefits for that. A lot of uh, the customers of Uncork use it in like their pre-shift meetings to go over wines. Um, they can feature something. It's a it's a nice study guide, especially if it's a little bit slow. You know, if you you know rotating your wine list or something, servers can really get to know wines on an intimate level, mm-hmm. and that helps you know increase sales and makes them feel more comfortable at the table. It's a better customer experience. Um, and that's sort of the balance that Uncork has tried to find. Is you know though it's a menu that gives a lot of information. It's not there to replace servers at all. We still want to keep that social interaction in For place sure. at the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Um, so this way it's it sort of, you know, it helps in both ways. It makes restaurant, you know, diners feel more comfortable as well as servers. So it's, I guess it's very, very important to emphasize how simple this is for the operator to use. Yeah. You know, it's a real turnkey platform, but there is some pretty serious technology behind it, right? Yeah, there is. Um, it's it's pretty powerful. It's all cloud based. Um, but when from the user interface, when you kind of hand it to a customer, we want everyone to be able to use it, no matter the level of, of tech savviness somebody has. Yep. Uh, so in terms of like navigating it, it really feels like a traditional menu. Um, it's just kind of you tap on the different sections and and you can find the wines really easily. There's search functions just to look for a specific you know varietal or anything you want. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's from the customer standpoint it's really easy uh, but there's uh, yeah a good amount going on um, it's and it's really helpful for operators who are using it because uh, it's it's simple on the back end but what you can do with it it just gives you so much more flexibility you know from like updating instantly the menus always check the server and, and pull yeah. any changes if you you know 86 an item or anything like that um, so from our end it's more complicated than it is from the users end for sure we try to deal with the complications here and, and keep that in-house that's that's the way it should be. Yeah, for take sure. it take it out of the operator's hands. Make it simple, easy to use for the customer and the operator. I love mm-hmm. it. So um, let's talk a little bit about um, what this does. I mean, you sit down. It works on any tablet. Uh, so it's all iOS based. So it's iPad based. Okay, mm-hmm. so it's yeah. iPad based. And now you, I understand you have access to over a hundred thousand different beverages. Mm-hmm. But this is customizable to a restaurant's existing beverage program. But yeah. they can add on to it at any time, right? Yep. Yeah, they can add on to it. Um, we have a beverage team on our side that's constantly seeking out new wines. Anything that gets released, um, yeah. we're kind of tracking down and putting it in. We you know, pull all the information from producer websites. Um, so it's all directly from you know the winemakers themselves, mm. all the notes that we use and things like that. So yeah, we have our database is about 140,000 different items in there between wines, beers, and spirits. The majority is wines, um, but obviously the wine market is kind of insane and there's just so many products. So no, yes. we're not going to have all of it in there. So a restaurant, you know, if you work with local suppliers or small wineries, you, you can add on to there. Um, and then it populates in the database and is accessible for everybody else. Let's just say I'm a customer in a restaurant and I know absolutely nothing about single malt scotches, but I want to try mm-hmm. one and there's just such a variety. So if I was to use this product at my table, I could simply just touch the keypad, not the keypad, but touch the screen itself and see the selections and it would give me tasting notes on scotches as well? Yeah, it would give you tasting notes on scotches, on beers, anything like that. Um, awesome. So a lot of 
restaurants use it for like after dinner drinks was where you see a lot of the scotch sales increase. Um, so yeah, you can break it down by really anything you want. If you want to have Islay scotches all in one category and kind of, you know, make a little note about what makes, you know, Islay scotches significant or different, you can do that. You can even search, you know, the term smoky. And if that's used in one of the tasting notes, it'll, yes. you know, pull up all the smoky scotches on your, on your list. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's really easy for people to use and learn from. Um, and that's really where you see like the sales increase is just people, you know, feeling more confident and spending a little bit more money. Uh, you know, maybe they're celebrating something, maybe they just always wanted to try something and now they, mm -hmm. you know, they feel motivated to, to actually make the call and order it. I'm also all, all about sales increases, as are most operators. You know, mm -hmm. I specialize in, you know, doubling and tripling check averages with some of my products. You obviously have statistics now on, on sales increases from some of your customers in the database. I mean, can you speak mm -hmm. to that? Yeah. Um, so what we've seen overall is about a 20% increase in sales, on That's beverage impressive. sales. Yeah, uh, so it's really nice. And then we have, you know, some specific case studies and things you can check out on our website. One of my favorite ones is a club that we work with in North Carolina, a, a private club called uh, the Clubs at St. James Plantation. Mm -hmm. um, they actually have five units uh, on their property. They put the iPad menus in three of them and saw a $3,000 increase month over month at those Love three it. units while the other two stood, you know, stayed stagnant. Um, so that's kind of one of my favorite stories just to see. It's a really nice sort of like A-B test of, of how, how useful and impactful the menus can be. Fantastic. I love hearing statistics like that because that's what it's all about, giving the guest a better experience, you know, mm -hmm. and, and in turn, they, you know, it, it automatically increases sales in a restaurant because people spend more when they're having yeah. more fun. So I love yeah. that. That's the way mm -hmm. it's supposed to work. Yeah. You know, we, we touched earlier on the customization. Can you walk through a typical new client relationship with a restaurant? Mm -hmm. And let's just say they've been operating for years and they've got a wine program, they, they have a full bar, um, they've got a good beer selection. Take, take me through what that would look like in order to get up to speed so this program is ready to use in their restaurant. Yeah, so when, when a new customer comes on board, um, they have a dedicated account manager that works with them and helps them on board through the whole entire process. The nice thing for restaurants is that we do all the work up front for you. Um, so we actually take you know someone's entire menu and punch it in ourselves, and that way you know everything's in there right, correctly. All the tasting notes are, are you know what they should be. Um, so operators don't have to have that added labor. Uh, to bring this on and to onboard it. Um, so we'll work with them for that. We also can customize designs so you can really match the atmosphere of your restaurant. Um, so you can do a lot of different things from, you know, we call them skins, but they're different themes for the menus you can use. You can add photos, your logo. Um, you can name your categories uh, anything you want or organize it whichever way you want. If you want to organize your wines by varietal or by country, uh, anything like that you can do. Um, so it really is just up to the you know restaurant what they've seen work in the past, what they like would like to try. Mm. Um, you know we have a team of designers that works on you know putting all the graphics on there, selecting your font, anything like that. It's it's really up to the the restaurant operator and, ha and how they want it to look. How long does the process take, Kyle? Um, not not too long usually. Um, dep always depends on how quick uh, you know the beverage director gets us the information. But okay. usually about two to three weeks okay. um, is the turnaround time for it. So it, can, it happens pretty quickly. That's awesome. Now you can get a free demo at your website. Is that correct? If a restaurant correct. is interested in what they're hearing and they want to try this out, so your website is uncorked dot biz b i z. Is that right? Yep, correct. Uncorked without the e. Okay, so yes. it's U-N-C-O-R-K-D dot B-I-Z, uncorked yep. dot biz. Correct. Is there anything we've missed that you want to talk about, Kyle, that, that you want to tell um, our listeners about the platform that we haven't already covered? Um, yeah, I think it's been just really nice to see the response that customers have in a restaurant. Um, you know, sometimes restaurant operators are a bit feel, fearful of change. They've, you know, run their restaurant a certain way um, and seen success or, you know, been able to stay open for a while. Um, and people are really, really responsive to it. Um, the technology at the table is really easy to use and to integrate into your service. Uh, you know, we get a lot of great feedback from servers when their check averages go up, a lot of great, you know, feedback from customers when they're able to learn more and have a really great experience. Um, so I think, yeah, just sort of not fear, fearing that change or, or being concerned about tradition and really pushing forward to the future of how, uh, you know, restaurants can operate differently. 
That's fantastic. Now you've got a tagline where technology meets hospitality to increase sales and improve efficiency. That's that's beautiful. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, I really enjoyed having you today, uh, Kyle, as a guest. I think we learned a lot about a great platform that I recommend any restaurant check out. Again, your website, uncorked.biz, B-I-Z, and Uncorked has no E in it, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me. That's another Restaurant Rockstars podcast. Again, um, this podcast was brought to you by Upserve. You can find them at upserve.com slash restaurant rockstars. Kyle, thanks again. Great company thanks, called Uncork. Check it out, and I'll see you next time. We appreciate it. Thanks, Roger. Thanks for listening to, to the, the Restaurant, Restaurant Rockstars, Rockstars podcast. podcast. For lots of great resources, head over to restaurantrockstars.com. And while you're there, download a copy of the book, Rock Your Restaurant. It's a game changer. See you next time.